Chris Chan, perhaps one of the most recorded people in modern human history, we know more about Chris Chan than we do any president of the United States. But even for the most dedicated Christorian, there are subjects that have become so buried, so overlooked in the Chris mythos, that their existence has been lost to time. Here, we will be looking at the Chris Chan Iceberg, created by Reddit user Drunk Comic Studios, previously known by the username FalconHawk5. Before we begin, let's get two things out of the way. While covering these topics, I will be representing my confidence in the topic with a can of Fanta. A full can means I am 100% sure of what I'm talking about. And an empty can means I have zero clue of what the iceberg means. Secondly, I'm aware that Dylan Thomas has made a video about the Christian iceberg. I haven't watched the video, but I did get the idea to do it by seeing the thumbnail in my recommended feed. I'm not trying to steal his thunder or anything, and I'll definitely be checking his video out after I'm done making this to see where our opinions are similar or different. A link to his video will be in the description below, I highly suggest you go check him out. Without any further ado, let's get into the iceberg. Sonichu. You all know him, you all love him. Sonichu the Electric Hedgehog Pokemon is by far Christian's most popular creation. Once a simple wild male Pikachu, he was accidentally struck by Supersonic during his battle with the Perfect Chaos monster, and was transformed into Sonichu by Chaos Energy. His first use by Chris was as a character on a music album cover, made as an art assignment for his high school. His teacher told him that copyright characters were not allowed, so by combining his idol Sonic, and the cuter, newer character, Pikachu, Chris made the completely original character, Sonichu. The Game Place was a games and hobby store in Ruckersville, Virginia that Chris frequented every Friday. It was ran by the manager, Michael Snyder, and was the place where Chris met his once best friend, Megan Schroeder. Chris's behavior at the Game Place eventually caused him to become permanently banned. These behaviors may include yelling at children when he lost at a card game, hooking up his Wii into the Game Place's TV, and writing, Michael Snyder loves to fill six out of Mary, Mary Lee Walsh. The game placed closest doors in June of 2014. 14 Branch Lane Court is Chris's address, and has been his home for most of his life. He lived there with his parents, his mother Barbara, and his late father Bob. The house is a notorious example of hoarding gone wrong, hallways and even entire rooms becoming completely inaccessible due to the amount of trash and useless items piled up to the ceiling. On the 10th of January 2014, Chris's house went a lump in fangs. Due to Chris plugging in a coffee brewer into a warm bathroom outlet, the house was rebuilt and Chris and his mother moves back in on the January of next year. Video Rants Chris is well known for being a very spiteful person and will not hesitate to make a rant video on someone or something at the drop of a dime. Although I don't think the iceberg is referring to any one set of video rants, his most well-known could be his ramblings about the Dimensional Merge, which most new Christorians will stumble upon first. Internet Lumberjack The Internet Lumberjack is the nickname given to Bob by the trolls, due to him catching Chris Chan masturbating on their home computer, and proclaiming he was going to cut down the internet. This has made Bob a favorite character among trolls, and even led to Chris himself embracing the meme and giving his father's reincarnated Sanju form a plaid pattern to represent a lumberjack. Love Quest The Love Quest is Chris Chan's self-proclaimed journey to find a sweetheart that he can spend the rest of his life with. The main goal of the Love Quest is for Chris to impregnate a woman and have her give birth to a little girl named Crystal, which Chris said God told him to do in a dream. Chris Chan's Love Quest officially ended in March of 2018, when he proclaimed he had entered a polyamorous marriage with, with his own characters, Magi Chan, Krizel Rosichu, Silvana Rosichu, and the Pokemon Mewtwo. Virgin with Rage Virgin with Rage is a title that Chris gave himself during the love quest, due to how angry his lack of sexual experiences has made him. The line, Virgin with Rage, was a prominent lyric that appeared in his cover song, Still Need a Cute Girl. The Classic The Classic is Chris's most iconic shirt and has been the one most people reference when drawing or cosplaying as him. The Classic was presumed lost after the 14 Branch Land Court fire, was found to have miraculously survived, albeit with heavy fire and water damage. Chris attempted to restore the classic, and even wore it out in public. One day, Barbara threw the classic away without Chris knowing, 
resulting in the permanent loss of the shirt. Gino Samuel Documentaries The Gino Samuel Documentaries refer to the documentary series called Christian, A Comprehensive History, made by the YouTube channel Gino Samuel 2.1. There are 47 episodes in this series at the time of this video. This series is praised for being one of the most, if not the most, comprehen comprehensive and non-biased documentaries about Chris ever made. Even Chris Chan has seen the documentary. I highly suggest that you all watch it. A link to the playlist will be in the description below. Liquid Chris Liquid Chris, real name Christopher Duckworth, was a troll who pretended to be the real Christian Weston Chandler. He mimicked Chris's voice and his mannerisms, such as stuttering and talking in a southern drawl. He and Chris bud heads for an extended period of time known as the Liquid Saga, and even participated in a music contest called the Singstar Challenge to prove once and for all who the real Chris Chan was. Liquid Chris won, and the real one immediately began backpedaling. The saga ended once Liquid got tired of trolling Chris, and married his cultural Casey, who was pretending to be Chris's girlfriend at the time. Clyde Cash Clyde Cash is considered to be Chris Chan's arch nemesis. He is behind almost every early trolling scheme and was the leader of the Miscreants, a team of trolls dedicated to never letting Chris lose his virginity. The Clyde Cash character's motivation for trolling Chris is to avenge his little brother, who had hung himself because of the lack of Sandra comics being produced. Clyde found his body after preparing a tray of freshly baked gingerbread cookies for his little brother. From that day on, he swore vengeance on Chris. The Medallion Christian claims his Sancho Medallion is the source of his supernatural abilities, such as cursing people with voodoo magic. The Medallion is constructed out of Crayola model magic, and was destroyed by a troll pretending to be a sweetheart. Yet Chris reacted very little to the loss and constructed another one, leading to many medallions coming and going when they get destroyed. The Quickie The Quickie, founded by Cog's Dev in 2008, is the internet's largest collection of Chris-related data and information. Spanning over 2,000 different pages of information, it proudly lives by the motto, No shit is too minor. I use the quickie in every video related to Chris, and a link to it will be put in the description. I'm working on it. I'm working on it is a line from Christian's video, That Is My House, where he orders the trolls to delete all of the re-uploads of a house tour showing the hoarding situation at Chris's house. His father, Bob, walks in during the video and tells Chris to stop recording and get the videos off the internet. Chris tells him multiple times that he's working on it, and has become a meme in the community since. Dimensional Merge the Dimensional Merge is a rapture-like event that Chris says is destined to happen in the coming years, wherein many people and locations will be destroyed in order to make room for the fictional world C-197 to merge with the real one, 1218. Chris explains that everyone who owns an OC shares a psychic link with them, and what we draw and write down are actually just signals being sent by the OC in the other dimension. In addition, TV shows and movies are just interdimensional windows that are showing us events that are taking place in C-197. Chris believes that he will survive due to being the goddess CPU Blueheart, the main operator of the merge. Once the merge is complete, our new reality will be dubbed 1C211987. Attraction Sign Christian's attraction sign was an object that he would use to attract passing women. On his sign, he would have a list of qualifications a woman must be in order to date him, such as 18 to 22, autism free, and not black. The use of these signs in his college caused him to come into conflict with the college dean, Mary Lee Walsh, who reportedly tore it up and told him he wouldn't get a girlfriend this way or anyway. Chris and the Hedgehog Boys Chris and the Hedgehog Boys was an album Chris created that consists totally of cover songs sung over the original lyrics. The members were Chris, Sonic Chew, Black Chew, Sonic, and Shadow. But Sonic and Shadow were replaced by Wild Sancho and Punchy Sancho in the comeback album. Some songs included in the album are Sony the Cute Girl, A U T I S M, Yellow is a Mellow Color, and I'm Sexy for My Ivy. 
Sanchu. Sanchu is Chris's car. Sanchu is the name that's passed down to every new car that Chris buys. The first and most recognizable one is a Ford Escort LX, previously owned by Barb. In the comics, Sanchu is a transformer and occasionally helps Chris and friends in battle. Parappa Contest The Parappa the Rappa Chop Chop Master Onion Rap Showdown was a contest held by Sony that would reward the best rapper of a trip to Seattle, which Chris hoped to win so he could take Megan and woo her into becoming his sweetheart. To accomplish this, he made over 100 dummy counts and stuffed the ballot in his favor. He made it to the top 10, but was beat by a man known as Adam Stackhouse, which Chris went on to hate for years afterwards. Chris claimed Adam Stackhouse cheated by having beatboxing in his song, while he himself cheated by making up original lyrics about his virginity and love for Megan. Gal Pals Gal Pals is what Chris refers to as female friends who are not interested in pursuing a relationship with him. Many of his gal pals originate from his high school days, but were revealed years later to have been hired by Chris's father Bob to be his friend. Now that high school was long gone, none of them wanted anything to do with Chris once he reached out to them on Facebook. Hexbox Hexbox is what Chris calls the Xbox 360. Chris detests the Xbox because he was raised on Nintendo and Sony products, and believes the console wars are real and he did not want Xbox to come out on top. Asperchu Asperchu is a parody of Sonichu created by Alec Benson Leary and stars in his own rival comic to Sonichu. Chris despised Asperchu and continuously harassed and badgered Alec, who was unwavering in his commitments to fair use brought out by parody. He offered a forgiveness drawing to Chris of Asperchu and Sonichu holding each other in a brotherly embrace. Chris was not moved. ED Page ED stands for Encyclopedia Dramatica, which is a website dedicated to documenting weird and absurd personalities such as Chris Chan. Before the quickie was established, the ED page was the biggest deposit of Chris information. Chris hated the ED article and desperately attempted to get shut down to no avail. Axe Body Spray For years, Chris believed that Axe Body Spray was just as good as taking a shower. This has led to many people who encounter him to comment on his smell, reportedly being similar to a rotting watermelon drenched in Axe. Christian believed that Axe should make it clear that only straight people should use their products, but this was met with no response. House Fire This refers to the fire of 14 Branch Lane Court, which forced Chris and Barb into a rental home for nearly a year. Nearly everybody survived, but one of their cats died due to smoke inhalation. After the fire, some of their possessions appeared to be missing, and Chris and Barb accused the firefighters of stealing their belongings. BronyCon BronyCon is an event where older male fans of My Little Pony, dubbed Bronies, by the internet community, can gather together and discuss their admiration for the show. As you may expect, Chris frequents these cons as much as he can. The Red Straw The Red Straw refers to an oversized drinking straw that Chris drew himself using in Sanchu issue 4. The straw has become a very enduring meme in the Christian fandom. LEGO PS3 the LEGO PS3, which is actually constructed out of pixel blocks, was a fake PS3 Chris Chan created for an adult swim contest, in which the contestant would exclaim what they would do for PS3. Chris said he would build one out of pixel blocks and trade in the cure for autism if he had it. Mary Lee Walsh Mary Lee Walsh was the dean of Piedmont Virginia Community College. When Chris was hanging up signs for his love quests, he was called into Mary Lee Walsh's office and reprimanded for soliciting sex on campus. She, she reportedly tore up Chris Chan's signs and told him he would not get a girlfriend this way or anyway, but this cannot be confirmed. Due to, his, due to this event, Chris Chan made Mary Lee Walsh the main villain of his comics for years afterwards, representing her as an evil witch. Eventually, however, he forgave her for her apparent transgressions and hand-delivered a framed picture of an apology drawing. Mary, Mary called Chris's parents and told them he was banned from stepping on college property, and Chris reverted to his previous mindset. Trans Saga This refers to Chris becoming a transgender female. Although sagas usually have a defined beginning and end, to this day Chris still identifies as female. This change is more than likely permanent, so this saga may never have an ending. Graduation Ring 
The graduation ring is Christian's Amnifest ring that he obtained at Manchester High. After Blanca destroyed his me Sanchu medallion, he revealed that his high school ring is the true source of his magical powers. However, years later Chris sold his ring, bringing the source of his powers into question. Pickle Suit Man The man in the pickle suit is a troll that had a real-life interaction with Chris, stealing his supposed girlfriend Emily away from him at the Sharpsville Mall, all while dressed in a giant pickle suit. There have been many more run-ins with the pickle man, causing Chris to harbor a deep hatred for him that is only compounded by his lifelong hatred of pickles. Miyamoto Saga The Miyamoto Saga was a period in Chris Chan's trolling where Chris was led to believe he was in direct correspondence with Shigeru Miyamoto, the creator of the Super Mario Bros. franchise. The false Miyamoto claimed that he wanted to help Chris turn Sancho into a video game and scheduled a meeting outside of Virginia, which Chris accepted but had no intentions of actually meeting him. This caused Miyamoto and a troll pretending to be Reggie Filzame to berate Chris and cut ties with him. Chris mailed the actual Nintendo Corporation for confirmation and was informed he was never in correspondence with Shigeru Miyamoto. But during the Stone Age In Sancho issue 2, on page 17, the scene depicts Wesley Sancho curl up in a ball hurtling towards Earth. The exchange between Chris and Sancho is as follows. What the? Sancho, run! You don't have to tell me twice, but during the Stone Age... For years, upon years, nobody was aware what this joke meant, or if it even was a joke to begin with. However, in recent years Chris finally gave out the answer to the elusive phrase on his Twitter. The punchline was that cavemen are so stupid that one would need to tell them things twice, other than just once.